Ah, nothing quite compares to the simple pleasure of enjoying a cup of first-class English tea. It's a moment of sheer joy and satisfaction in every sip. So, do you remember this place? We were once talking about how nice it is to grow roses, and now we've switched gears and are talking about advanced plants. Time really does go by quickly, doesn't it? Traditionally, let's examine new plants, or a particular plant, we could say. Yeah, I'm not the world's best painter. Should have asked Lottie to handle it. She's the real deal when it comes to art. As you can see, there's not a lot to go on at the moment. More details are coming soon though. I know you have a lot of questions about the new shop system. Frankly, it's still a mystery to me as well. Ah, don't you worry a bit. I've discovered a fantastic expert in herbology who's ready to assist us. Hello, Cassandra. I want to express my sincere gratitude for your assistance. Isn't it obvious? Teaching average-minded students such as yourself is a waste of time. Anyway, draw your attention on this spreadsheet. I believe you already may have noticed, you can upgrade your shop until level 6. Each level of shop upgradation is attached to a specific career research level. Budding unlocks the first level, Novice unlocks the second level, and so on. The store's available budget is predetermined and will change depending on the shop's level. The number of high-value acquisition plants displayed each week in the store will generally change depending on the shop level. The availability of high-value acquisition plants on the store display increases progressively with shop level. Initially, there is one display for levels 1 and 2, then it becomes two displays for levels 3 and 4, and finally, there are three displays available for levels 5 to 6. The budget for high-value acquisition plants is invariably tied to the shop's level. The plants shown on the high-value acquisition display are based on the shop level and change randomly, leading to a different assortment every week. I believe this is all you need to know regarding the high-value acquisition plants, their display, and how the shop level affects them. Cassandra, you're a lifesaver. Thank you for your help. I truly appreciate it. Of course. I don't mind lending my brilliant intellect to the less fortunate. Okay, fine. Whatever you say, Cassandra. All right, let's move on to discussing other matters. After being patched, the Lumos talent should be fully functional now. You can use 25, 100, or 300 light points per second, depending on which speed you prefer. Just be careful, though. Once you commit your talent points to a specific option, there's no way to undo it except by using Gnome Saliva to completely reset them. If you take care of your plants regularly, and would like to conserve your talent points, here's a rumor. You might be able to enjoy a basic default pest protection that lasts for three hours. It means you don't have to spend talent points on the healthy resilience talent if you're fine with just three hour pest protection. If you're not planning to do the tasks associated with the mood talents, it's also an option for you not to spend any talent points on them. It is sufficient to focus on watering your plants regularly and preventing pest infestations and weed growth to obtain golden quality plants. Don't forget to gather the required plants from your friends, and keep in mind that they are not limited to the ones shared with regular land plants. In total you have the ability to collect 5 plants from your friends, 5 plants from the land area, and another 5 plants from Black Lake. That's all for now. Make sure to watch all the series to be fully informed. If you have anything useful to share or any questions, feel free to leave a message in the comments section below. I would be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode.